is number 16. We must receive all whom God has received. I want to have as many brothers and sisters in Christ as God has got children. Did you understand that? That means as many children as God has. I want that many brothers and sisters. I don't want to cut off somebody who's a child of God just because he doesn't agree with me in some doctrine, just because he's got a different view on some area, or because he belongs to another church. I believe there are born-again believers in the Roman Catholic Church. Mother Teresa in India, I think she was really a believer. I may not agree with their doctrines, or I don't believe in Mary as a mediator, etc. Okay, they may have some things wrong in their understanding, but their heart is right. It's the heart God looks at. So much of doctrinal disagreement is a head matter. I tell you, you'll, you'll discover when you stand before the Lord, he's not going to give you a doctrinal questionnaire before he asks you to, whether you, you can enter heaven or not. It's your heart. God looks at the heart. And I've got friends in the Pentecostal Charismatic Church. I don't agree with them in everything, but I love them. They're born again believers. So God has taught, taught me to accept all whom God has accepted. I may not be able to work with some of them. For example, some believe in infant baptism. I can't work with them in the church because when a baby is born, they want to baptize. And I say, sorry, we're not going to baptize them. So I say, brother, you start another church. We love one another and uh, work separately. So I realize I cannot work with everyone. Some people, for example, have some extreme doctrines on speaking in tongues, either way. Some say all tongues is the devil. Some people say everybody must speak. I don't belong to either group. So we, it, it's, necess, it's out of necessity. We have to work separately, but we must have, be open for fellowship with all of God's people. Jesus never said, all men will know you're my disciples when you all meet in one building. No. <laughs> he never even said, all men will know you're my disciples when you agree on every jot and tittle of doctrine. No. He said, all men will know you're my disciples when you love one another. That's the thing. You know, as I go to different places, people ask me questions about my church. They say, do you break bread every Sunday? Ah, I know, they must be from the Brethren Church. <laughs> do you all speak in tongues? Ah, they must be from the Pentecostals. Your sisters all veil their heads. They must be Mennonites, okay. And like that, there are different questions people ask. Nobody's ever asked me, do you all love one another? Isn't that interesting? What is your doctrinal statement? Jesus said, the one thing that Jesus said would identify his disciples is very often lost in the thinking of many Christians. If you cut off one saint from God, of God, one child of God, you're going to be the loser. I don't have to agree with everything they believe in. In fact, many Christians, I don't agree with all that they believe, but I love them and I receive, I can see something of Christ in them, I receive it. It's like, you know, if I go to a store, I don't buy the whole store, I just take a tube of toothpaste and that's it. So I can go to a believer and just take one thing from his life, I don't have to accept everything in his life. And like that, I can go store after store after store, and it's all free, and I pick up all that I need, and I become a rich man. You see, this is how it is. If I can be open to all of God's children, I don't have to agree with everything they believe and teach and all that, but if I can see something of Christ in them, something of Christ's humility, or something of Christ's care for the poor, like Mother Teresa had, for example, or some, something of a passion to reach people for Christ, like Billy Graham has. I don't have to agree with all of them and everything. I can become rich. You deprive yourself of something of the wealth of Christ when you don't receive all of God's people. So hold your conviction, stay in the church God's called you to stay, but be open to all of God's people and to receive all that God has for your freedom.